Hi, I'm Savita and welcome to my sewing studio. In this video, I'll show you two different kinds of plackets. One is the kurti placket and another one is the continuous bound placket. So let's start. Now I'll show you how to make a placket. If you don't know what a placket is, this is this is the front neck. You can leave a button stand here and put buttons here. So this is what I'm teaching now. It's called a placket. So we have already cut the front neck. Now first you need to decide how long you want the placket to be. It's uh, entirely up to you. Um, you can keep it any long. This is the wrong side. On the wrong side, this is the center line. First you decide and mark till where you want the placket to be. I will keep the placket around 6 inches long. So at 6 inches just do the marking. And now for placket, cut a strip of fabric. It can be contrast or of the same fabric. Length of the strip of fabric should be 1 inch longer than the placket length that you want. So this is 6 inches. So I'll cut a strip of fabric that is 7 inches long. And the width of the fabric strip should be around 3 inches. So I've already cut a piece here. This is 7 inches long and the width is 3 inches. You need two of these. Okay, now I'll show you how to stitch this. Let's take it to the machine. This is the wrong side of the fabric. Now this is the center crease line. This is where I want the placket to end. Now take a strip of fabric. Align the edge, one of the edges to the center crease line. At the neck you keep it exact. Extra whatever we have taken in the strip will go downwards. Now mark the end of the placket. That is the placket length that you want. And also mark half inch in from the edge. That is from this edge of the green fabric. Just mark half an inch. And you will be stitching on this line. Now there are different ways of uh, doing the placket. This is one of the ways. I will be stitching on this line, marking line what I made just now. Lock here, stitch, come all the way down and lock here. Then you will take the other strip, again align it to the center crease. You are placing the right side of the strip fabric with the wrong side of the body fabric right on wrong now again you will mark half an inch from the edge and stitch at that half an inch mark then we'll be slitting the center i'll show it later first let me finish this lock at the beginning stitch on this half an inch mark So I'm stopping at this end point and locking there. So if you can see I've stitched at from here till here till wherever I want the placket to be. This is how I stitched. Do not stitch till the end. Stop where the placket needs to end. Now do the same for the other strip of fabric. Now this is how I've stitched half an inch from the center crease to this side and to the other side and I've stopped the stitch at the end of the placket. Now mark from the end mark half an inch above. Now we'll be cutting the center crease line of the body. Now cut only till the half an inch mark that you just made that is half an inch above the end of the placket. Cut the center crease. Stop half an inch above the end of the placket. Now let this placket fabric and from here give a slit till the stitch point. It's a diagonal cut you're giving. So this is how it is. Do the same for the other side. You're not cutting the placket fabric, only the body. Even this. Lift it up and cut till the stitch. Do not cut the stitch, only till the stitch. Now you should be having something like this. Fold it. Now 
turn the fabric to the right side so this is how it would show on the right side now bring this fabric out I've got one of the placket fabric out the other one is still behind mark half an inch from this edge and fold it crease it well now keep that fold on the stitch marking that you see here on the stitch marking and you will be stitching to the edge of this now as you stitch when you come you have to stop exactly to the point where you had initially stitched that is uh, to the slit point stop there and lock now this is stitched this is how it shows and now we'll do the same for the other side Now this is how it would be after you have stitched both the flaps. Now the left flap or for me it's the right hand side. Push it down and the left hand side flap. Push the raw edges down. This is why we had given a diagonal cut initially. Align it nicely one over the other. So the when you wear the right side flap will be overlapping the left side flap. Now align it nicely one over the other. Now turn this the body upwards. Now you can see the small triangle. Keep it flat and you'll be sewing to the to this line on this line that you see this is the placket end marking that we had initially done so you'll be sewing from here till here let me do that carefully without stitching the body fabric so i've stitched here now and when you turn this is how it would show and this would be the flap you have to do the button holes here and you have to stick the buttons here so this is how it shows from the right side and this is how it shows from the wrong side and you would need to overlock this part as uh, there are raw edges here so we're done with this kurti placket now I'll show you how to make a continuous bound placket. It looks similar to this but the method of doing it is different. Now the continuous bound placket can be used in sleeve opens to put the buttons here. You'll have to you'll be giving a slit and then finishing it and giving buttons. Or you can use in uh, back of the dress. Normally it's used in kids dresses. So I'll be showing it for a sleeve. Now this is the center crease line of my sleeve, center line of my sleeve. Normally the slit is given in the back sleeve part. So this is the back sleeve and this is the front sleeve. So this is my sleeve open line. First let me find the center line. So this is the, this point is the center part of my back sleeve. First you decide how long you want the slit to be on the sleeve i'll take it as around three and a half inches now slit that part i mean cut it now to do the placket take a strip of fabric which is double the length of the slit so if this is three and a half take double of that so around seven inches or little more 
the width I've taken is one and a half inches. Now this is the right side of my sleeve. Keep this, keep the right side of the strip to the wrong side of the sleeve. Keep the edges together. So to the wrong side of the sleeve, I've kept the right side of the strip. Now we'll be sewing. So we'll start stitching quarter inch from the edge. And as you come down, come closer to the edge, stitch closer to the edge. And when you come to this V point, stitch very close to the slit point. And then again we'll be stitching close and then go away and end at quarter inch. Okay, so let's start stitching. Keep the edges of the placket fabric and the main fabric together. Come close to the slit. Keep the needle in. Now make this sleeve fabric straight and also the placket fabric, let it go straight. Now stitch close to the edge and then we will be stitching away and ending at quarter inch. Same like we did on the other side. So this is how I have stitched like a V and this is how it would show from the wrong side. Right now bring out the placket fabric flatten the seam fold the edge of the placket fabric by quarter inch keep that fold on the stitch that you just made just cover the stitch with that fold and you, now you'll be sewing to the edge of this and you'll be sewing all the way just straight straight and just sew it all the way. Ideally use same color thread that is red on top but now I'm using a contrast. As you come closer to the V, just straighten this sleeve fabric and you'll continue stitching. Now this is how it looks, um, this is the right side and from wrong side this is how it looks. Now one of the sides is close the placket, that is fold the fab, uh, placket to the wrong side of the sleeve but the other side keep it just open, keep it aligned together. So one side I folded the placket to the wrong side, other side I've just kept it open, align it together, one overlapping the other. Now this is how it would be. Now turn to the wrong side. Now this is the wrong side. One placket I'm closing, I'm folding over the sleeve, other one I'm just placing it on top of the other placket. Now you'll be sewing from this corner. We'll be stitching in a diagonal way from the corner. There's only the packet, not the sleeve. So hold it to that. And you'll be putting a stitch from here till here. So we're done with the continuous palm placket. This is how it would show on the right hand side. And you'd be doing the button holes on one side and fix the buttons on the other side. And this is how it would show on the wrong side. Why we do the stitches? So that one placket overlaps the other and stays in that place. If you don't, it won't stay in that place. So this was uh, the kutti placket that I showed initially. And this is the continuous pawn placket. And once you're done with the plackets, you can go ahead and finish the raw edges. As I had shown in my video how to finish the neckline. 
as this is a curve yeah, you'll have to take a bias strip but for this you can just take a straight strip but the finishing method will be same thank you for watching this video and if you like my video please like share and subscribe and uh, thank you for all your wishes and blessings and happy sewing